self focusing self focusing is uh, actually directly related to the intensity dependent refraction index Okay, so we have seen that uh, uh, the refract index of a nonlinear crystal, if it is having third order nonlinearity, will be equal to the non uh, the linear refract index plus three by four chi three e square divided by n l. Okay, so nonlinear refractiveness is depending upon E square. So E square means it depend on the intensity. Now, if you consider a usual laser beam, we can take its beam profile. So beam profile means if you take a laser, So consider laser which is coming from uh, the output. For example, any uh, red color laser or any laser we have. Okay, better we uh, suppose helium neon laser. So helium neon laser we have. Now uh, the intensity of the laser beam may not be same in this beam. Okay, so if you just uh, uh, move the uh, phototiode through this uh, the beam profile, we'll not be getting the same intensity. So the intensity would vary. Uh, it would be uh, large at the exact center of the uh, beam, uh, at the exact center of the ray. And uh, the intensity uh, gradually decreases when you're moving uh, away from the center. So that we can uh, graphically can draw it. So this intensity R. So if you consider a beam, if you're looking at the beam, Okay, so if you look at the beam, uh, the beam will not be having uh, the same intensity all over. So its intensity would be large at the center. And when you're moving away from the center, the intensity would gradually reduce. Okay, so the distance from the center is uh, what is denoted by symbol R. So R equal to zero means it is at the exact center of the beam. Okay, now if you just um, uh, do this uh, beam profile, okay, this can be uh, experimentally, you can uh, do it in your lab. Uh, and most of the MSC lab will have this setup to find uh, the beam profile of the laser. Okay, you have to just uh, switch on the laser and uh, move a, a photodiode connected to uh, a photometer horizontally. It's perpendicular to the uh, the direction of uh, the laser beam. Then you can get a beam profile. So if you measure this intensity, this curve usually follows the Gaussian pattern. It follows Gaussian pattern. So that means intensity is very large, uh, exactly at the center, and it gradually decreases when you're moving away from the center. Okay, 
Then now uh, suppose you have a chi three crystal. New incident laser. Okay, you are entering a laser beam to it. 